Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration I'll show you how to get started with writing and debugging JavaScript in SharePoint 2010. First I'm going to go into Site Actions and edit this site in SharePoint Designer. And there I'll go in and actually write uh, or create my new JavaScript file. So I do want to reference a JavaScript file right away. I'll call that demo.js, it's an excellent name. And then I uh, will just go in and edit that. And then I'll just do an alert. Oops. There we go. You have to be really careful with the syntax because otherwise it gets tricky and uh, Java, uh, SharePoint will refuse to load the file. And actually that's an issue that you might have anyway. Because if you go in to your uh, home page for example here, and go in and edit that, and this is a wiki page so it will actually not allow you to add JavaScript right into it. Even if you have the syntax down cold, it will not let you do it, and I'll, but I'll show you of course how to get around that. So I'm going to pick the URL and here's my demo JavaScript file and that's the type JavaScript and then I'm just going to close the tag. I'm just going to copy this now so that you don't have to see me doing that over again. Copy that. Now when I save this you'll notice that this particular JavaScript file or reference will be removed. So now it's gone. Uh, so you can't do it that way, but let me show you how to actually do it. I'm going to close that now and go out into the web interface and edit the page. And then I'm going to insert the content editor web pod. I go that by, uh, do that by going into the editing tools and uh, the insert and then more web pods. And then I find the content editor web pod here. There we go. I'm going to add that. There we go, now we have a content editor there. Kind of ended up in the wrong place here. Let me see if I can move it. There we go, that's better. It doesn't really matter where it is, but um, because I will, will actually hide it soon. Now I'm going to go into Edit Web Pod. And I'll do two things. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and do the um, appearance to Chrome Type None and then I'll go in and click here to add new content go into the HTML tab which is on the format text tab here HTML, edit the HTML source and then I'm going to paste my link there with my script tag click OK and then we'll click OK down here too and finally I'll save my page by going into this button, save and close and there we go, my script is running hello world so the next step in this is to actually enable debugging. Wow, hello world, it keeps being friendly here, very nice. Uh, and debugging in SharePoint can be done in many ways, but, but uh, this is my favorite. If you go into Tools and the Developer Tools, this is an Internet Explorer, and actually go here on the Script tag, sorry, on the Script tab, see there, Script, and then you can select which script you want to see. It's actually out of view here, but there you go. These are all the scripts that's lo that are loaded. And down here you'll be able to find the demo just js file somewhere. There we go, demo.js. There you see that's my code. Now I can actually put a break there too. And I'm going to place these now side by side so I can view both of them at the same time. I need to, of course, click start debugging there. Now I'll do a refreshing, and here I should see the currently running row turning yellow very, very soon. There we go. And the interesting parts here is that I can see all the local variables, the call stack, the breakpoints, and even a console here. So this is really interesting. The locals, for example, contains all the stuff that's currently loaded. It's a lot. SharePoint does load a lot of stuff. 
but um, I'm just going to do play now and then we'll go into more debugging in another session. But this will get you started. Thank you for watching this demonstration.